Hello everybody, welcome. Well, yesterday the weather, I was thinking, well it seems like it's the end of summer, it felt like. And today, today is um, Saturday. Not sure if it's the 3rd of September. But anyway, today, <laughs> complete and utter change. It's terribly, terribly hot and humid. Anyway, so it's actually quite difficult up here in the studio. The temperature's in here now about 85 degrees, so it's plenty warmer. Um, what I actually want to do, um, which I thought I'd bring you in on, is I've just, I've got to, I made the other day about 25 small, small jugs, um, like similar to this. And they are now ready, waiting for a handle, which I need to do now, really. So um, I just let's move the camera over here, over onto this um, on top of this wheel here, and you can see I've got under plastic here. I uh, just thought we'd just talk about these. Um, they're ready now at the stage to be thumbed off. So what I'm going to do is just swing the lights around a little bit, like that. Hope you can see. Um, these are the jugs that we did. I did. I mean, just uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, actually. So um, I've already done some of them, but these now they need to be thumbed off on the bottoms here and it is important that you do use your throwing stick and I know I go on about this a lot when you're throwing these on the wheel you finish them with the throwing stick and you finish them well right down here at the base and you make sure that you put an undercut in underneath there the angle on this tool is 45 degrees and it's exactly the right angle just to go straight in there and make that undercut okay so remember always with your repeat wear put an undercut on the bottom because now comes the time when you appreciate that you took the trouble to do that because we're just going to now just thumb these off like that okay and that's it all right just thumb them round and there really is no more to do on the bottoms of these alright minimal fussing and having to no having to trim them put them back on the wheel centre them up and do all that business that's that's like going back to the dark ages, isn't it? Having to do all that. You see, we just, we kind of effectively wet trim them while they're on the wheel with the throwing stick at the base there. So now there really is minimal finish, finishing off to do. You see, it makes the whole operation that much quicker. Also, you know, if you've thrown them well, all right, there won't be the need to trim off a lot of excess clay because you've thrown them well and they are now, well, this one I notice has got like a gouge out the bottom of it there. I don't know what's happened to that one, which will mean I shall have to get a little piece, a little piece of clay and just Put it in there and with the back of my fingernail just work that in like that you see all right if you have a little something like that happens to your work you find there's a chunk out at the side of it or a, a scratch on it or something like that all right you don't have to worry too much about it the wound is easily healed over and repaired okay so i've i've done i've done those and 
just seen another one here with a little. Do you ever go come to some of your pots and you find a chunk out of the pot and you think, who's been in here? Who's done that to my pot? <laughs> like who's been eating my porridge? <laughs> it's always somebody else, isn't it? That's done it. <laughs> probably, probably us that did it. Okay, I'm moving the lamps over now here to the table because. Um, I've just got to get some, got to get some clay ready, because what we're going to need for these, for these jugs here is to pull some handles. So we're going to do that together. But I'm just going to cover those now, just while we wait. And it's never a bad idea, you know, if you're working a little bit. These are about right to handle, but there's a, there's a couple here. There's a couple here down on the end you see down here, a little bit drier than the ones in the middle. You need to rem remember that, that if you have pots on a board, the ones that, the, the pots on the end of the board, on each end, will dry quicker than the ones that are here in the middle, all right? So, so I'm just gonna cover those back over. It's pretty warm today. And it's also pretty humid, I have to say. Especially because I, I turned the fan off. I have a fan in here, but I turned it off because I don't want the noise of the fan interrupting the recording. <laughs> you know what this microphone is like on this camera. It's rather sensitive. So I'm now going to go over there. You can see I've got some clay. Um, here on the table and I'm going to get some of that clay out and we're going to knead it up for, for the handles so we're going to So before you start kneading, just make sure that your work surface where you're going to do the kneading is free of wood shavings, <laughs> iron filings, or anything else that you were doing on the table previously, or even just dry bits of clay that you were here from the last time you worked. Maybe you didn't clean your bench off. Sometimes I don't clean my bench off. Just bring the bring the camera down there. I wonder how many of you spiral need your clay. Let's just see if we can zoom it in a touch. Don't want to get too close there. One of the things we do on workshops is try to teach people how to how to knead clay. You call it over here in the United States of America they call it wedging. But I call it kneading, as you know. Wedging is the other thing, isn't it, where we're cutting through with the wire. All right. So we want to be able to knead the clay like that. Spiral kneading. I encourage you all to have a go at doing this, try it. The first few times you do it, you'll make a mess. But if you keep at it, you'll learn it. Sometimes the clay may stick to the tabletop, but don't worry about it. Just peel it off and keep going. 
I don't use a canvas topped wedging table because I don't like them because they dry the clay out and they have a pain to clean off afterwards and you end up as possibly ripping the, the canvas so I, I keep away from them this is just a cheap table I got it works okay okay so I've now kneaded that into I'm going to actually, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to splice that down the middle. So I've got two pieces. I'm going to try and pull some handles of these, out of these. Right, let's just pull back the final touch. Um, that little camera let's okay so there they are on the table we're going to take those lumps of clay um, and we're going to start to pull them okay I'm just going to get some water a bucket of water So I've got some water here, sponge, alright, um, I'm going to get a banding wheel, banding wheel, okay we're going to put the banding wheel here, I'm going to take one of the pots, because I'm going to pull the handle and then I want to look at the handle alongside the pot. Alright. I'm hoping you're going to see me. There's actually tons of light in here, but uh, this little camera sometimes doesn't want to. So you're going to get your um, your needed lump of clay. All right. Now what I do is I hold it just below the top like that and hit the end of it. That gives me a um, a railroad spike. And I've got one here. I've got one here to show you. Well kind of looks similar, <laughs> not the same, but you get the idea, right? So, the railroad spike has got this bent over fatty bit on the end here, which you just, by hitting it like that, you create it, you see? It gives you something to hold on to, because we're going to be pulling the clay, and we don't want to drop the clay on the floor. Right, I'm just pulling these lights a little closer. I want us to see what's going on. I could get myself some professional lights on it. Righty ho, so clean board. Now, let me just bring the, get the angle down there so you can see the um, the, the, the wearboard there and by the way get yourself wearboards don't pretend to be a potter if you haven't got wearboards All right, you need, you need, you need wearboards okay, to put pots on if you haven't got wearboards where are you going to put your pots? All right, so get yourself some wearboards also wearboards will encourage you to make more pots because you've got a long board. 
All right, now, basically, we're gonna just dip this into the water, and dip my, I'm dipping my hand as well, okay? And I'm gonna start pulling down the clay. The secret is to keep it wet, keep it lubricated while you're doing this, all right? Now sometimes what you can do is, this is not for everybody, by the way you will make a bit of a mess when you do this because it drops generally on the floor. Alright, if you take a sponge like that and hold the sponge to the side like that, okay, every time your hand comes up it's going to hit that sponge and release water, okay, so you won't have to keep going down into the bucket. Okay, so we're pulling, pulling the clay down. Okay, now it makes a bit of a mess on the floor, but we're not going to worry about that. Now the hand posture, the hand posture for doing this is basically, you see the shape between my, my fingers here, in here. That's, that's your cross section of your handle, all right? And that's, you want to make the, the handle to have, to give the handle that kind of cross section, a sort of elliptical, all right? So, with that in mind, you're going to pull down about 18 inches of clay. Now you do need to pull down a fair amount, okay? Um, now you, you want you want to go from say that posture, turn the hand round and then go to that posture, okay? So you're switching a couple of pulls like this and then a couple of pulls like that. All right. Now you can also go here on the front and pull down there like that. I don't want to complicate things for you as you're starting to do this. All right. So we're going to pull down. Okay. Now. Let's just put the um, towards the cam towards the little pot there I've got on the table. All right. So what you want to do then is just put your handle up to the pot just to give some idea of thickness. Okay. Seems to be okay. Okay. Now I'm just moving the camera back over there. I'm going to now put take this now. Bring your board to the edge of the table here, you, you can't have the board in there like that, okay? You can't cut the handle off. So bring the, the, the wear board right to the edge of the table. You're then gonna lay your handle across the wear board from back to front like that, pull it towards you till you think you've got about the right length. And then with your, the knuckle of the side of your thumb, that's this side here, you're gonna Cut that off like this. Okay. Okay, let's let's do another one. There's a lot of skill, you know, attached to pulling handles. It is it's skill though that you've got to, to get into your hands and learn. Your hands have got to learn the touchy feeliness of it and you know to do it. Okay, Oop. drop the whole thing. Okay, we're going to lay it across and then cut him off. I want to show you in a minute how I cut them off because it's important how you cut them off.
So. Go back over here. Get that light. All right. Now this sponge trick, if you're starting to do this, is probably going to be more trouble than it's worth. Okay, and it's going to get you confounded. So maybe leave that for now. I'm going to pull down. Now there, you see, I pulled the lump off the end because it was just a little drier than I thought. Pulling it down. Just going to show you that. Can you see the, the cross section of the handle? Now you don't want to have the handle too flat across. All right, neither do you want to have it round. You want to have it elliptical shaped. So it's kind of flat, but it's got a, like a, a spine that runs down the, the back of the the back of the handle. Okay, lay that here, cross. I've got 26 handles to pull, I think. Okay. This is one of the most touchy feely aspects of pottery making is this pulling handles and learning the moisture content of the clay and what you can do with the clay with the amount of moisture that you've got on your fingertips. Okay, pulling it down. Okay. Across the board, pull it from back to front. Can you see that? Lay it across, you see, like that. Pull it towards you judge the length, and then cut him off with the side of your thumb. The side of the knuckle of the thumb. Dee 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 dee. See from one from one piece of clay I can get quite a few quite a few uh, handles pulled, can't I? I'll probably get one more out of that. How many have I done there? Six, seven. God, I've only got twenty more to do. <laughs> it's alright. I've got more clay there, but I'm probably gonna have to need that more actually. Alright. With the pull, when you pull, you pull right off the end of the clay, okay? Right off the end. Don't stop just before the end, otherwise you'll end up with a lump. Alright. Okay. Okay. Um, let me just... Uh, show you these. Now, can you see these here, these handles? The ends of the, the end of the handle here, where this is the end that's going to attach to the, the picture, all right, here on this end. All right, so you want to have quite a nice right angle like that. All right, let me, let me pull a handle and put it down there and show you what it shouldn't look like. If I can out of this last little lump. 
this last little piece. You know, I look at people who pulled handles and I go around and look at them and uh, this is, this could be, what I'm going to show you now, could be fairly typical of what I don't, we don't, what you don't want to see. Now, can you see the difference between that that handle there on the end and these. You see that? That 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 is really not good at all. That's going to present problems when it comes to applying the handle onto the onto the onto the pot that you make you've made. Whether it be a pitcher or a, whatever it is, a mug. Okay? You really you really have got to have them and a nice cut off, you know, nicely guillotined off on this end. And then, then you will see when you come to attach them how much easier they are to attach. Oh god, I'm sweating, it's hot in here. Let's go and put that fan on, I think. Anyway, um, just wanted to date you on that. We'll be putting these handles on very shortly and then we'll we'll come back. <laughs> so don't think you've got rid of, got rid of me yet. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave these handles. When I've finished I'll probably pull I'll pull them all now. We'll leave them to um, to stiffen off a little. Alright, that usually means leaving them for half an hour, 40 minutes before you apply them to the the piece of pottery. The, that you've made. Um, so I'm going to pull these now, the remainder of these, and, and we'll come back, okay? So hang on in there, keep practicing. <laughs> See you soon. Bye bye. Dee, dee, dee.